Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. Today we're joined by Douglas Granite and my cat named Binky, playing as the Enclave Reconstruction Authority. So, let's continue playing on. So, I've had actually quite a few comments within the past few days, especially recently and yesterday. So, just regarding our future path. So basically, I think there is a somewhat, at least moderate amount of support for me to go back in time and play uh, the Enclave at the point again where we start rebuilding a nation I believe um where was that point people want me to go back and play as a presidential dictatorship instead of doing a democracy which sounds like fun uh, there was a ton of comments uh, regarding mandatory patriotism I said I wanted to do this but I've been told that there are an insane amount of debuffs or just really bad debuffs so I should probably avoid that and when I do Department of Education which sounds nice that I tell the people about the people of America about the enclave's history which in which I lose a bunch of legitimacy. I'm not against doing that <clears throat> and I probably actually will do that, but I'll do that as soon as we have pacified the brotherhood factions. Because in this playthrough, this part of this campaign, I'm going to probably attempt to puppet the Western Brotherhood, go to war with the conservative brotherhood members down here so we can learn from each other promote the exchange of ideas in which the conservatives and liberals go to civil war in which i will probably help out the liberals and just basically make the western brotherhood my puppet but before i do any of that i need to recognize that we're a little bit in danger and before i explain about the dangerous part uh yes chamber of commerce will help us with collapsed trade but that will also help us with our legitimacy when we actually build up our infrastructure once i lose all my legitimacy so we're going to continue doing that but the Brotherhood, the Washington Brotherhood, is actually our, probably our next enemy. To be honest with you, that is definitely our next enemy. Because I played through this just a little bit ahead of where we left off last night. Yesterday, morning. Yesterday. So, they're definitely going to be our next enemy. So, yeah, definitely have to be concerned about those guys. Go ahead and stop training. The infantry divisions that we have here, uh, let's see, most of them are 20 width. Except for the Prodigal Sons, which they're also 20 width. But I don't think they have any support companies. To fight the Brotherhood, we're going to need our power armor as well. Which is not good. If anything, I'm going to tell you guys. Come next to the Kamalt Station or whatever this is called. Come over here. We have a little bit of political power. Um, Obviously, we have no war support, which really sucks. I need to do the NCR focuses so that I can get rid of a reluctance to serve. So we can get more war support. Lose some of our supply consumption, get rid of Brahmin Barons, and things like that. So, we have a little bit of political power I could use. But nothing really here is screaming out for me to use them. I mean, yeah, gunships are good. Plus 20% reliability, that's really, really good. But, I do want offensive army genius. I might just keep my political power for now, but let's let time keep going on. Mm. And I literally just finished up my coffee because... Uh, actually, there was a Windows update for my computer, and that kind of screwed up my OBS just for a little bit for some reason, but that's when I drink, drink most of my coffee, anyways. Mm. Gotta love it. And I do want to go to War Economy soon, but I'll do War Economy when we're in a war with the Brotherhood. So we got a little bit of time. Right now, my goal is to build, build, build. Because it's probably going to cost me a little bit more consumer goods in the future. So I want to build as many military and civilian factories as possible so I'm gonna switch them off so top one civilian next one is military then another civilian and then another military I think that'd be pretty good overall um, yeah don't really need to slip in another one because we have five at one time for New Reno well we have one up here cool alright lots of political power that's good just build it up just give me as many factories as possible yes building infrastructure would help when building factories but Right now, I'll build infrastructure later because I actually have a good use for it in the future. Um, let's see. How is our stockpile? So we're doing better on power armor two a day. Support equipment's not bad either. If we go to war with the Brotherhood, I definitely need my Enclave Auxiliaries to get some anti-tank support. Definitely some pier piercing on those guys there. Alright. And in 50 days, they get another victim for the Brotherhood, which is fine with me. Very fine with me. Uh, so yeah, I definitely want to pacify the Western Brotherhood so that they're my puppet. 
And then eventually you can annex the Western Brotherhood once you give them enough equipment, like normal. Because they would be our puppet, which is great. Um, I do want to take out the Western, the Washington Brotherhood first before the Western Brotherhood. So, I, Because I'm probably going to end up playing another alternate timeline version of this campaign, which is not a problem at all. But I'll probably choose either the Ganon Doctrine this time or Firmus Granite. And then the next time I'll switch it up when I play as a presidential dictatorship. Because it's so much easier playing as a dictatorship sometimes than doing... Um, with a democracy or trying to be democratic. Ooh, the open road. Oh, this could be so good right now. More civilian construction speed. It's only 10%. I think we have enough time to do that. Yeah, let's do that for right now. Then I'll go to the NCR stuff and integrate the NCR soldiers with intermilitary. Whispers of hope. I've already said this before, but despite our current precarious position, there are now those who are taken to our American dream. Whispers of a new dawn are spoken when no NCR loyalists are in the room. Stories of a president made of solid granite who has a stomach to crush the enemies of America within and without. Uh, I need you for U.S. Army. I could really use that manpower, actually. But I get more political power and even more stability. Do I need that more stability, though? I could use a stability if I was at war. Oh, the menace from Washington. Here we go. The Washington Brotherhood, fresh from its conquest of the Troll War and others, lusts for more. More resources, more slaves, technology. And with NCR still bitterly divided, it's, or New California, it's extending its claws towards the reunited states. And they're going to prepare for war against us in a few days. Probably. Um, usually there's an option here for me to like sacrifice some stability in exchange for some weekly war support. Uh, but I need that manpower. I really, actually, really, really need that manpower right now. Stability is nice and 100 political power, but I already have 90% stability. So, yay, we actually have a little bit of manpower now. I feel a little bit more comfortable. Oh, and the Dark Brotherhood marches south. I just got an email from Domino's because they send me emails every single day. I'm not sure why. But that's all right. 300 political power. Holy cow. I want war economy, so it's a good thing that the Brotherhood, the, West, the Washington Brotherhood, will come fight us. Uh, let's see. Collapsed trade. Oh, I can... Oh, okay, good. I can actually move away from this. Let's see. Free resources. Resource efficiency gain. So anything is better than what I have right now. I could go to max construction speed to free trade. Now, if I lose resources... Hmm... See, right now, we are sending out... Our efficiency gain is 90%. Minus 90%. If I go here, I get 80% of resources to market. Here we go, 50% of resources to market. Uh, if I make a mistake, I have enough political power, so it doesn't really hurt me that much. I'm going to go with free, free trade, because I want the output and construction speed. I can always make up more for um, factories anyways. Uh, does that really help us too much? Actually, that made things worse. <laughs> <laughs> that made things worse. Crap. That's alright. I'll build more factories up so I can actually trade them away. Once we get one more spare one. Uh, that's a good one. Digital data links. Better research speed. Better reinforce rate. Good. Uh, to encryption. Let's get some encryption so the Brotherhood has a harder time discovering who we are. Yeah, I could go down now to export focus. But I've already changed this. And I want to save my political power for partial mobilization. Uh, ooh. But yeah, extra output's kind of nice. Ooh, that's not good. That's actually really not good. Well, it looks like I made a mistake. You know what? I'm going to rescind what I just said. Let's go to export focus. I just wasted 150 political power. Whatever. Yes, we get slightly slower, but I do get more good. So I can actually produce some support equipment and power armor. Another victim for the Washington Brotherhood against Commultation. And that's why I put my soldiers next to that area. Every man a car for more stability. Sounds nice. I need war support. Um, free of bottle caps. Sounds good to me. Rebuilding places. Open for business would be good as well. Let's do NCR leadership next because I need to remove some debuffs. Canadian pirates join the Brotherhood to the north of the Washington. Lies broken coast where pirates bludgeon their prey to death with Canada's sacred clubs of fearsome hockey sticks. We hoped they'd serve a nuisance, as a nuisance, to the Brotherhood and tie down their flanks, but now they've formed a blood pact with the Brotherhood to seize California, which can offer far more loot and slaves in the Northwest. Should war with the Washington Brotherhood break out, they may try to harass our coasts and supply lines. Of course, the U.S. Navy wet its teeth fighting pirates 500 years ago. Perhaps it's time to pick up the old habits. Oh, this war is going to get big. Oh, this is a big war. I can't even reach them. Get salvage fighters next. Oh, crap. I need anti tank, actually. Hold on. Instead of salvage or nuclear salvaged fighters, I need some anti-tank. Yeah, do that. That's good. 
Um, motorcycles, vertebrates, gunships. Yeah, you're you're actually already okay with that stuff, so I don't mind doing that. We just need more electronics and advanced electronics as well. Mm. Gotta love water. And your leadership, ruling California. Civilian construction speed, nice. Flying formation, good. Uh, do we need any more buffs to our infantry? Probably. Uh, probably refined mixture for more trickle back. I definitely don't want to lose too much army uh, soldiers. Too many soldiers. So they got about three, a little more than 3,000 manpower. Quite a few divisions. Washington Brotherhood declared war on these guys, which is fine. Electronic blueprints, more efficiency cap and growth. Um, let's do this for more population. Sounds good to me. Mining equipment. That's quite a ways away. 203 days. Get more construction speed. I need to build, build, build. Like there is no Tamara. And hey, we're almost out of our deficit of power armor. Nice. Uh, that's not bad. Whispers of hope. Nice. I've already said this again. Uh, I could get more manpower, but we got manpower last time. I could use more political power and stability because of my mistake changing my economic doctrine or output. Ooh, NCR leadership though. So now the dust has raised. Now that the dust raised by the fall of the NCR is settling, the time has come to decide how to govern the newly liberated Californians. Grant C. Hayes, previously mayor of Daglo under the NCR, has asked an audience with Douglas Granite. He claims to be a descendant of Enclave members who escaped Navarro and integrated into the NCR. Hayes believes we should appoint him to to a top position in our Reconstruction Authority and bar anyone who took up arms against us from office. Many of our older Enclave officers balk at the idea of working with our old enemies and demand that any NCR politicians we come across be executed. Well, that hurts our legitimacy, which is kind of okay with me, but if we integrate the NCR leader, and even though I think Grant C. Hayes is our Vice President, he is our Vice President, uh, let's see, we get more support of democracy, which is fine, I don't really care. We get more legitimacy, but we lose war support, which means nothing. We lose stability and political power, but we get some more generals or advisors. Um, Since we're trying to integrate everyone, I'll do that. And then Jacob Dwemer Freeman is outraged. As one of the commanders, uh, this guy has approached Douglas Granite personally after a recent decision to accept NCR leadership into our government, aggravated but respectfully. He told the president that he cannot accept working together with the people who ordered the attack on Navarro that killed his father. That makes sense. He has offered his resignation, feeling he can no longer perform his duties under the current administration, and we lose war support, which, thankfully, means absolutely nothing. Thank you, 0% war support. And I've got to do this to get rid of a reluctance to serve, so we get more manpower, non-core manpower, mobilization speed, more population, better supply consumption, better recovery rate, better war support, and faster justify war goals times. Ooh, that's a lot to read. Cool. I still want war economy, though. So I'm just basically waiting for the Washington Brotherhood to attack me, which will be great. So I can actually go to war, get a little more war XP. Ooh, we get another power armor division. Oh, well, it looks like... Oh, that guy left. God dang it. Well, we got Joshua Grant. That's not bad. Ulysses isn't bad either. Supply consumption, minus 10%, minus 10%. Colonel David Stevenson, minus 5%. I'm not using Lieutenant Scott Blair because Scott is a politically connected individual, but I like the recovery rate on Stevenson. But Oh, he's level 6? Oh, God, I cannot say no to level 6. Washington Brotherhood expansion, whatever. I mean, we're pretty much ready for that. They might use ships to invade us navally, which could turn into a problem. But before I move on, actually... Uh, just go ahead and do this. Just go ahead and dig in where all of you are at. Do that, because this might help us out overall just a little bit better. The infrastructure up here kind of sucks, too. Nice. We got a lot of political power. We get 2.25 a day. Holy crap. Whispers of hope. St more stability. Well, we lost stability. We might as well get more political power, then. Roll that technology to scavengers for even faster research speed. That's only 20. That's not bad. Uh, do I need... I just need more support equipment. Some planes and power armor, of course. Another the victim for the Brotherhood against the Mermelec tribes. But something tells me they're going to go to war with me very soon anyways. Um, actually, radar could actually really help us. So let's throw that thing up there first. Throw you up here so I can finish that one. Refined mixture. Very nice. Still doing anti-tank in three days. Uh, max that out for field hospitals. Do I have field hospitals? I already have field hospitals on these guys. That's good. That's really good. Anti-tank rifle. Thank God. 
Um, let's get some more defense for our guys first. Throw on some anti-tank. I don't have explosive support, but this will give us up to 30.6 piercing. That might not be enough, honestly, against enemies. But that should be at least something better for us. Get some anti-tank on here. Remove that. That should be good enough for now. Go up to five, because we definitely need more of those uh, gun pieces. Well, actually, it looks like the Kemalt station is doing okay. I was hoping that they go to war with us. Uh, I'm not sure how they're pushing them back. This is about 3,500 manpower for the Washington Brotherhood. But the Kemalt station has about a little over 1,000. Just a little over with half the number of divisions. Less than half. Nice. Incorporate the NCR. I'm going to wait for the education thing, like I said. Open for business. Ooh, I want to be able to build as much as I can now. So that in the future, I don't have to worry about factories. So we have 107 factories now, but we can continue building. So, we're going to do open for business to expand our factories as much as possible. And if I have to. The Brotherhood, I mean, I don't know why you're not winning. It almost makes me want to, do, to declare war on one of you guys already. You're fighting Kemalt as well as the Haida Confederation. Where's... Oh, are you over there? Broken Coast. Frankly, I'm not really sure why they're losing. Yeah, this is really interesting. I'm not sure why. Yes, I, don't, I know I don't need to waste manpower against any one individual group, but... This could be a good distraction if I do this. Let's see what happens. There's only 47 political powers. It's not like we don't get 2.27 a day. My goodness. Oh, wait. Justification for conquering Bly... I am not paying attention to anything, am I? I really am not. So... Hmm. How many days until... Oh, that's 87 days. Can't I take out the Kemalt Station in 87 days? I mean, it's possible. If I really push the power armor very hard into these areas. Um... The Brotherhood will attack. But they're getting their butt pushed in. Oh man, this is hard to make. Hard decisions are always hard to make. Uh, take... Take 9, because the supply kind of sucks around here. Kind of hold out. I want to see if they these guys advance any further. Because if they do... If the Kemalt Station advances, as it advances any further, then we should be okay. I'm fairly confident that the power armor will just be able to crush th these enemies fairly okay. But I don't know. I mean, the, the Brotherhood did declare, go to war. Never mind. These, the Mamluks are getting destroyed. Honestly, it might just be best. Oh, wait. They joined the Nevada Pact. Oh, my goodness. These guys down here. Oh, they, oh okay. I'm not going to go to war with those guys then. I mean, I could go to war with Desert Rangers, but I do have a focus <clears throat> somewhere here that allows me to go ahead and go to war with them. It's down here. Yeah. Incorporating these guys. I just need a bigger army strength than those guys, so. Alright, well, we'll see what happens. Honestly, just prepare yourselves again for the incoming war against the Brotherhood. I'm pretty sure that these tribes will probably die out, which is fine with me. We're going to wait for them to declare war on us. Or get down to as firm as Granite or the Ganon Doctrine. And to take piercing... Yeah, that's probably pretty important to do. Besides, the longer we don't go to war, the more power armor I can build up. And we got enough support equipment now. Protesting in the Shady Sands. No one cares. Alright. Open for business. Nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Digital encryption. Since I'm probably going to play this again, I don't mind right now going... Trying out... Un uniting the Estates of America... Light up the night, though. Uh, power station, civilian power grid, lighting up the night. Uh, infrastructure would be nice. Every man a car, the Gek project, free bottle caps. Uh, more political power, less encryption. I'm going to go ahead and do this. More political power, please. Better radar station, sounds good. And let's do this. Med tech, we get uh, national spirit, th minus 3% attrition, sounds good to me. <clears throat> Bring the gun runners specs up to spec so we get more factory output conversion speed bonus nice anything else uh there was one more uh crimson trucking thingy every man a car less supply consumption i get more consumer goods and better construction speed so i need to do the crimson caravan next that might be for the for the best let's go ahead and do this and get 
better reliability. Yeah, because I have already have a lot of... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, we have some of these guys, the NCR people. More recruitable population, minus 5% special forces capacity multiplier. I don't think I'm using special forces. These guys aren't considered special forces, so it's actually that's not actually a debuff at all. I get 5% more recruitable population. That's really good. Unpopular genius, less stability. Eh, it's not bad. Do I get these guys over here too? No, but... Less supply consumption, more division organization, D division attacking defense. Oh, oh. I want the 15% more attack, but the more population is hard to not get. Ooh, but attack. Besides, I will be able to core a lot of my population later on. Ah, uh, don't really need this immediately anyways. Naval stuff is kind of a waste to look at. Let's just do this since... It's pretty reliable, and I can use that for more air research speed anyways right now. And it would be interesting to see if the Brotherhood actually goes to war with us. Fear Factor, nice. Get some more uh, recon, that'd be good. Right now, we definitely need a lot more anti-tank guns. A lot more. Do that for now. Raise you back up to five when we get there. Just do that. Yeah, that's good. Pale Folk have fallen... Yeah, actually, the Kemal Station's holding on very well. I'm kind of surprised. I didn't think they would hold on this well. Like, they're kind of almost completely, like, separated from all the other Nevada Pact people. And honestly, I'm probably going to end up just annexing the Nevada Pact. Or at least most of it. Alright, guys, go ahead and go to war with me. Actually, if anything, I want to tell you guys. What if I just deploy my power armor on the front line here? What would happen? Just power armor. Remove you guys out of the way as kind of a secondary fallback line. Something like that. This is probably terrible. Happy Holidays! The pre-war Carol fades as President Douglas Granite comes on the radio. My fellow Americans, we've been through a lot the last few years. But I think we've remembered, for the first time in a long time, what binds us together instead of what bow blows us apart. Whether we light a menorah, go to church, or worship an unexploded nuclear bomb... <laughs> we all base our faith in love. So for the new year, let's resolve to give... Let's resolve to give of ourselves, to be our brother's keeper, to be our sister's keeper, to be excellent to each other. And if you do worship an unexploded nuclear bomb, please give it to us. Oh, crap. What was the town in Fallout 3 that had that? I forget. We get more stability. Nice. Please make sure your sound is on and your music is off. And have a happy holiday unless you like the Legion. Eat, I had to play Christmas Roads. Oh. Oh, I think I, I don't have the mod installed yet for the... Music, I think, a Fallout or something. United the United States of America. And this is going to be a little important. I'm going to piss some people off here, maybe, or aggravate some people, but I definitely want to go down this path somehow, some way. Maybe it's not the best time to do it. I just need more army strength compared to the Desert Rangers to do this. I could go to war with these, but I'm going to keep this open for now. Because I need to do every mana car. Alright, I hope the Brotherhood really goes to war with me. That'd be for the best for everyone here. Anti-tank is doing better. Power armor is doing better. Nice. Enclave auxiliaries. Explosive support. I might add that on. And, oh, they did go to war with us. Nice. Um, Port Moz is at war with us. We have ran out of things to build, which is kind of nice. Take all but you guys. If Can you attack this way against the infantry? You hold on. Don't move. Nice. So keep building up military factories. I'm not going to build up infrastructure, which is... Not stupid, but not smart either. Oh, look at that. Nice. Just build up so many civilian factories that I will never run out of factories, basically. Do this. There you go. So it's a little bit more spread. Well, spread that out a little lower. There you go. And can we switch to war economy? I could go to total, total mobilization, but I don't want to do that. Nice. Hopefully I didn't waste my political power there. See what happens. They're marching. That, that. Industrial land appropriation. I need... Oh, we actually have 50% war support. Oh, because we're in a defensive war. That's kind of nice. Honestly, just go ahead and march in. You guys prepare to do whatever you need to do. Scavenge for old world tech. Roll out scavenge. Technology to scavengers. Infrastructure construction speed is always nice, but let's do something else here. Industrial concerns... 8.3%. 3,000 manpower is probably not enough. 
Uh, let's see, industrial research speed. We're probably going to do power station, civilian power grid, because that will cost us some time to do this. Oh, man, but 15% attack. 15%. Oh, but just... But 5%. But 5%, man. That means I don't have to do any sort of volunteer army, and I can keep going on with plus 5% non-core manpower. Uh, but I double my manpower. It doesn't even matter. I, I like the attack. I really like the attack. I'm going to go limited conscription. Screw it. Whatever I say. Who cares what I say? I'm going limited conscription. Uh, these guys are not cut off, but it looks like... I'm not allied with these guys, but it's interesting to see how they're faring. They can't be pierced, but they're losing. Probably because of supply. Yeah, it's probably all because of supply problems. Nice. Very nice. I wish I could get more war support, because I don't have enough. But when do I ever have enough? Unpredictable attacks. Nice. More piercing for infantry that I'm not even using right now. Infantry stuff. Defense and breakthrough. That sounds good to me. Can they pierce us? No, but we can't pierce them. Pretty typical. Pretty darn typical. Go ahead and reorganize yourselves, because that's better. Nice. Nah, throw another power armor division on there. Go ahead and hold for now. Yeah, the infrastructure is extremely terrible here. Yeah, that's that's not bad. Hmm. Brahmin herding equipment. Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good. Let's see. That's going to be a while. 0.94 years. That's not bad. I could build more stuff, but I don't really need to. Engineering. Almost forgot decryption. But we get we did get bend here. That's not bad. Actually, I don't mind building this infrastructure up just because that'll immediately help us. Do that. Every man a car. The open road. Although thousands of cars are still in use fr from some 200 years after the Great War, few if any have still been built. That changes with the decision to build a factory outside Reno to build the Chrysler Highwaymen. The Highwaymen, rugged enough to drive off road throughout the wastes, powered by whatever fuel cells are lying around, represents America's can do spirit. Economists estimate that within 20 years, one out of every 40 Americans will own a car. Nice, we get two more civilian workshops. Great. Uh, let's see, we did that. The Geck project isn't bad. Actually, I'm going to do that first before anything else, just because I know what the effect is going to give me. Ooh. Yeah, less supply consumption, better factory gets, and more construction speed. Open for business. Yes, we is. Uh, do that for more research speed, because why not? Protests. No one cares about the protests. I'm blow off some steam. That actually hurts my stability. God dang it. And better reconnaissance if we need it. Laser rifles. Very nice. Better chem stuff. Can't do that yet. What about planes? I've not done very much with planes. Guy bomber sound. Oh, wait. I don't need that. I need this. Because I already have gunships. That's right. Memory serves correct. Do oh, actually do this area, since we're probably not going to lose the territory as they're attacking us. I'm going to try to drain the enemy of the resources as much as possible. Alright. Our, I mean, we're defending pretty darn well. They're attacking. They have attrition. They can't pierce us. We're entrenched. So it's actually pretty bad for the Washington Brotherhood. Uh, 4,000 manpower. Actually, that's, that's a lot of losses already. Mostly from the Kimmel Station, of course. We've killed a little less than 300 of them, but, you know. I'll let each side take care of each other for the most part. Ooh, what are we doing next? The Gek Project. We'll get that done, and then I'll choose either the Ganon Doctrine or Firm's Granite. Hmm. Ooh, more monthly population? Yes, please. 89% stable, or legitimate, I guess. So, I changed the conscription so that I can get more attack. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get more attack. At this point, yeah, more power armor is needed, whatever. Keep attacking me, big boys. Horses! Although there's about 8 million, there were about 8 million horses in pre-war America, they all died out due to the Great War, nuclear winter, and hungry survivors. Now, the EPA wants to use genetic re-engineering to revive horses and other large mammals rather than engineering death claws with laser guns. What? Death claws with laser guns sounds amazing, but we get better at supply consumption and reconnaissance. Which is A-OK -okay in my book. So right now, um, since I'm going to play this again, like I said before, I can choose one of two. I'm going to go with the Ganon Doctrine this time, just because it sounds nicer. So, yes, I might upset some people that I didn't choose Firm's Granite, but I'll choose that one next time when we play again. Nice. 
What's the worst score of participation? I have 20%. Chemical station has 75%. Not bad. Uh, ooh, did someone lose here? That's not good. Just keep beating them back, boys. Oh, they really don't want me to take that. Keep my tile. Where are you? Where are you all headed? No, 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 that's all right. Just one over there is fine, right? Yeah, it's, it's fine. Just one. Uh, do this one. I want to do Vault City for more legitimacy, but whatever. Uh, we can scavenge old world place. Maybe build up some more factories, stuff like that. What's the manpower like of the Brotherhood? Still over three thousand. You guys, the camel. Oh, the camel station's running out. That's not good. Actually, that's not good at all for us. Uh, you come over here. You guys border this area because the Brotherhood <clears throat> might just push you it push you past the boundaries for right now. Uh, let's see. Industrial concerns. Let's do this one for electronics. Horses, yay! And they're still trying to beat us up. I just want that army attack. Oh, love it. Protests. God dang it! Come on, man. Where's the thing so I can get more? Um, ooh, the Gan Doctrine. So I can get more. What you calls it? Stability. Usually there's events I can get more stability or something. I guess not. Uh, let's see. Send a courier to Arroyo. Sponsor a follower expedition to the Cyclops tribe, which is over here. And then to the Bone Pickers, which is over somewhere. Bone Pickers. Oh, over here. Uh, let's do that. We'll see what happens. 100 days. Basic drill. Nice. Ooh, actually, more armor defense. Basic power armor soft attack. Well, this does this affect everyone's power armor? Huh. Maybe that will actually affect everyone's. I don't know if it does. More max speed. Let's get more reliability, maybe. Oh, and I'm going to seek allies next. Mostly because I do want to stop the Brotherhood of Steel or get them under my belt as fast as possible. So we're going to seek some allies. Send a courier to Arroyo. Not yet. Ooh, Discovery Old World Tech. So we get a bonus to civilian and military construction speed for about four months. Love it. Another guy down here. Great. God dang, supply sucks down here. That's why I went with the horses thing, because that just helps us with our supply. Digital decryption. Nice. More decryption. And I'll get more research speed, because we could use it. We're just waiting for the Kimolt Station to fall apart. Pre-war housing, nice. 199 days ahead of time. Whatever. That means nothing to me. Uh, infrastructure? Uh, we could probably throw two here. That's probably all I'm really going to build for that area. Nice, not bad, not bad. 22%, the Kamal Station's lost quite a few. The Brotherhood's lost a lot of divisions, or a lot of manpower, actually. Kamal Station, what are you up to? Are you mobilizing more soldiers? You actually might be. We, nev <laughs> we never die. Plus 10% monthly population. Not bad, nuclear salvaged fighter, awesome. Dive bomber, don't really need that. I'm gonna do this. F85. Do that next. Salvage fighter. Awesome. And where is the airport? It's under them, probably. God dang it. Do that. As we are desperately trying to get a lot, a lot more defense. God dang it, come on. I can't keep losing this much stability. Like, seriously, what the heck? There's nothing I can do about it, either. Seeking allies. The greatest power in the waste of Brotherhood of Steel. Um... <sighs> Discrediting? I just need more divisions for more army strength ratio. More than 50% stability. I can't do that. God dang it. And actually, this does hurt the Western Brotherhood. The Washington Brotherhood, I mean. This is the greatest power in the wastes. There's someone that just gives me, like, weekly stability. I could really use that. Stability. Non-core manpower. Oh, this actually reduces our stability. If, is there anything that gives me weekly stability? I don't mind getting more stability. Ooh, civilian and infrastructure construction speed is good. Lose efficiency resources. Weekly war support goes down. For citizens. 
Gunrunner. Ooh, that's not bad. Not terrible. Not great. Followers of the Apocalypse. Faster construction speed. Less monthly... Less recruitable population, but more monthly population. So, I lose some consumer goods, which is fine with me. I don't really care. But I get war support and stability, which is what I really need. I'm going to go with Felix Grayson for even more stability next. Ah, uh, more power armor. Nice. Even though I can't really throw you on here too, too well. Go ahead and do that for even more decryption and whatnot. Beautiful. Let me guess. If I do this, this is going to turn into something dangerous in the future. Um, I'm going to lose to legitimacy anyways in the future. And I really don't want free press yet, so I'm going to break them up. The Greater Diglo Massacre is done. Sporadic protests have occurred in Greater Diglo for several days, and the Enclave Reconstruction Authority has responded by sending in their armed forces to disperse the crowds. Only, this move only escalated tensions as power armored forces clashed with protests in the streets of Greater Diglo. A few hours later, an Enclave trooper reported sniper fire from the crowd and returned fire before receiving permission to engage. The resulting chaos caused the situation to spiral out of control, resulting in scores of civilian casualties with not a scratch on a soldier's power armor to prove the existence of the supposed sniper. At least there is no free press to report on this event. Thank God I got rid of it. <laughs> I love democracy. But that doesn't mean that the word of mouth won't spread across our country. We lost war support. And that's okay. Just because right now I'm tired of seeing it and I need more stability. Anyways, uh, that's where we're going to leave it for now. I knew the Washington Brotherhood would declare war on us. And right now we're trying to move a little closer with the Western Brotherhood. Even though we're fighting the Washington Brotherhood. And just going to see if we can get people allied with us. So, that mind... I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as I will begin pushing into the Washington Brotherhood tomorrow. Thanks for watching.